Hello and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to set up a shared cockpit with, within the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 so that you and your friends can share a cockpit together and even share the controls of the plane you are flying at, the, uh, at that point. So as this is not a native function of the game, uh, you need to install and configure a small tool called your controls. We can do that together. The first step would be to download the your controls installer. You can use the link in the uh, description. Just uh, visit the link and then you can uh, download the installer right here under the version. Uh, yeah. So download the installer and extract it. Uh, run the installer uh, executable. And now, as you can see, both machines are basically uh, on the same point at the point of installing the your control software. Now, at that point, ensure that the community folder is correct uh, and then just install yeah. uh, it may be that you will be asked to allow a firewall exception at that point uh, you can do that so after you installed it uh, launch the your controls application and when you are done with launching the your controls application you need to start up the flight simulator as this takes a bit of time i would say uh, we'll be back when the flight simulator is started okay now that our flight simulator has started on all of the machines we can continue with the next step to set up the your controls app let's begin with the host computer let's uh, call it uh, yes uh, host one like already said let's choose uh, aircraft let's say we choose the best aircraft on earth that would be the cj4 let's take that one save the settings and start the server as you can see a session code is generated from the host uh, computer and uh, now we can continue with the clients let's call them like uh, set clients also choose the same aircraft and save the settings and connect to the session uh, to the given session code by the host that would be you have the i FJC. Okay, now that we are connected to each other, you can see at the host computer that the client is connected and uh, on the client side that the host is connected. Now we need to set up the flight simulator as our next step to ensure that all pa uh, parameters are the same. Let's begin with the host computer. We choose the CJ4 and our local airport. And we fly from here and set up the same settings on all of the machines. So we choose a CJ4, take, oh, why is it here? Yes, okay. And set up the same time, weather, and uh, location. Uh, also ensure that uh, all of the machines uh, are using the same aircraft uh, content, means that you have the same add-ins or add-ons installed in your community folder for the 
uh, aircraft you are using. So now that we uh, set up uh, the simulator uh, the same way uh, on all of the machines, we can uh, begin the session. Okay, now that our session is loaded, we are basically ready to fly and therefore we choose that. Let's uh, position the co-pilot uh, first so that it makes a bit more, uh, more sense, I would say. Okay, now everything uh, should work at this point. Maybe I make that to full screen. Okay and let's start up the plane so that you can see that uh, indeed all instruments are synchronized and everything is working fine so let's get her up um in addition i can tell you I read something about that there is another specific option you can apply so that even more is working as it is right now. But uh, from my point, I can say it's working pretty good. Let's set it up so that it uh, gives a good view okay yeah as you can see the plane uh, is magically uh, started from the pilot now let's uh, switch the controls now i give the second instance uh, the controls of the plane uh, we are using the button in the app and let's uh, first decouple the uh, the autopilot where is it okay and now as you can see i'm controlling it with the second instance yeah so let's get the autopilot back up uh that's it for this tutorial uh, that's how you set up a uh, shared cockpit in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and have a good night.